Part 4 The final key requirement is to comply with the European Commission's dissemination and publicity requirements. One of these requirements is to complete the European Shared Treasure Database. The EST, or European Shared Treasure Database, is a European dissemination tool for Leonardo, Grundtvig and Comenius partnerships. The database allows anyone with access to the internet to search for details of all the partnerships funded across Europe and to find out about the results they have produced. Information about each partnership will be available in all the languages of the participating partners, not just the official language of the partnership. EST is a great way to disseminate information about your project, to share your results and to learn about what other partnerships have achieved. It is also a contractual requirement which is mentioned in your grant agreement. You will need to upload details of your partnership onto EST at the same time that you complete your final report and by the 30th of September 2013. We will provide you with further information and guidance on how to do this well before the deadline. It is also a requirement that you acknowledge the support of the Lifelong Learning Programme by including the Lifelong Learning Programme logo and publicity disclaimer on any products that your partnership produces for an external audience, for example, a website, a booklet or a CD. You can download the LLP logos in a variety of formats via the Useful Documents and Information section of the Grundtvig and Leonardo websites, along with links to the European Commission's own website where you can find the text for the publicity disclaimer. It is not necessary to include the eCorus logo on any of your products. We have now covered the four key requirements that you need to meet in order to ensure you receive your grant in full. If any of these requirements are not met, we may reduce your grant or request a full refund of your pre-financing payment. For example, if you do not submit your progress or final reports within the required timescales, we may request a refund of the pre-financing payment, as these are contractual requirements. However, in most cases, any decision to reduce the grant or request a refund will be taken on a case-by-case -case basis, bearing in mind all of the circumstances, and we will try to be flexible wherever possible. However, as your grant is directly linked to the number of mobilities specified in your grant agreement, if you don't complete the required number of eligible mobilities by the end of your project, we will have to reduce your grant on a pro rata basis, as shown in the calculation here. Unfortunately, we have no discretion in this. This is also mentioned in Annex 3 of your grant agreement. Similarly, if you have a Grundtvig 24 mobility contract and you don't meet the requirement to deliver 16 different eligible learner mobilities by the end of the project, your grant will be reduced by two-thirds when you submit your final report. It is important to note that if one of your partners has not achieved their minimum number of mobilities, their grant will be reduced, however this will not affect your grant. Having said all of this, we really don't want to have to reduce your grant. We want your project to be a success and we are here to support you in understanding the requirements and delivering the objectives of your project. These are some of the ways that we can help and support you during the life of your partnership. You will be assigned a dedicated contact person within the partnerships team who you can contact to discuss any problems or queries you may have and to tell us about your successes. If your contact person is unavailable for any reason, you can contact another member of the team via the Grundvig and Leonardo helpline numbers and email addresses. We also run various networking and support events to help you to understand and meet the requirements. We will email you to let you know when these events are taking place and how you can register to attend. We produce detailed guidance notes and good practice guides which are all available to download for free from our websites. And finally, we produce the education newsletter and monthly email e-flashes to help keep you up to date about forthcoming events, policy developments and application deadlines. You can sign up to our ma mailing list via the homepage of the Grundtvig and Leonardo websites. So, to help us to support you, Remember to let us know about 
any significant changes to your contact details or to the partners involved in your project. Any significant changes to the aims and objectives of your project. Any ongoing problems or issues that could affect the success of your partnership. And don't forget to tell us about the good news too. Feel free to send us photos, articles or case studies about your projects, quotes from your participants or examples of your project results. We hope that you found this presentation helpful and we wish you every success with your partnership.